god. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Chika. And if this is your first time here, please do not make it your last. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the like button if you actually enjoyed this video. So, I have an adage before we jump into the story time. The Igbo people say, Uzodema Agaya Obuluna. That is an Igbo adage. And if you're not an Igbo person, well, let me translate to you what I just said. I basically said, if a road is good, you go through it more than once. And if you're familiar with YouTube, once you put out a content that people like and engage in, you just need to do more of that. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for the love and engagement on my last story time. Since I'm already, I've been through a lot of, you know, stuff, why not make lemons out of lemonade? Do you understand? <laughs> Get you a drink, get you wine, popcorn, juice, coke, Fanta, whatever it is that makes you happy. And you know we always get lit in this series. Okay, so this is my ice. I mean, this drink is actually a gin. So if I've been through so much shit in my life, why not, you know, make something out of it? So this is actually another story time. And this story time is actually very funny um it was how i just tried to be a gold digger and i actually got scammed the guy was not a gold mine at all i was duped i was scammed i was violated i need my time back mm. this is this is not giving what it needs to give let me add a little bit of coke to it. I feel like it's too strong. I don't want to talk gibberish on this video. We need to hit it straight to the point. Okay, that's good. Let's taste it out. Mm, it's bustling. Okay, let's get into this video. So my friend at the time, and we're going to call my friend Blessing, and we're going to call her boyfriend Peter. And we're going to call the guy who scammed me, we're going to call him John Bosco. You know, I always bring weird names for these guys, you know. So, okay, this is how it happened. My friend at the time, who is blessing, invited me to a wedding at Enugu. And bear in mind that I was in a relationship at this time when this stuff happened. My relationship was kind of on the rocks. On the rocks rocks like it was quarter to end and i was seeing it but we've not made it official yet to get that kind of gist so we're just chilling in the relationship but we we both knew that it was practically over and blessing kind of invited me to a wedding i was like okay what am i doing with my life let's go blessing's boyfriend was the one that was that invited blessing to the wedding you know how nigerian weddings is like if you invite one person you're inviting like 30 people because that person is going to invite others and those other people are going to invite others as well so that's just how it works i'm sorry i didn't make the rules so blessing invited me for this wedding and i was like sure what am i doing in my life let's go Blessing's boyfriend who we are calling peter in this video was in enugu at the time and he's based in enugu actually so he invited her over and we me and blessing actually left from oka to the wedding and we left on friday evening because the wedding was scheduled for saturday so we went on friday and we stayed over at blessing's boyfriend's house i wasn't comfortable with it at the time but i really didn't care because blessing was there i mean what's the worst that could happen so we went to blessing's house and that friday night you know he was like let's hang out you know you guys are coming to enugu what's even in oka safe you guys enugu people feel like at the lagos of the east or some kind of thing i don't know who told them that but that's what we're working with so when we got to the supposed place we're going to hang out forgive the air quotes <laughs> when we got to the place we we're supposed to hang out you know i saw some other guys because blessing's boyfriend peter was part of the groomsmen for that wedding so there were other groomsmen there i don't know what they were actually doing but they were having fun from the look of things so you know the other guys were there then one of them approached me and was kind of talking to me giving me all the attention we got talking you know what's up how are you then the guy now said that you look like all these slay queens that have over 20,000 followers on Instagram. So at first when I heard it, I wasn't sure what to do with this. I was like, is this a compliment? 
is this not a compliment i was like you know what i'm going to take it as a compliment so i took it so you know we got we got talking he was cracking jokes he was he was a funny guy actually he was so we got talking and you know he was like after so much so much he got of course he got charmed by my personality who wouldn't then he said i would like to you to be my date to the wedding on saturday i was like your date like i don't understand and to be honest i didn't go there to be anybody's date i wanted to go there and be everybody's date you know that kind of thing where you can talk to everybody but when a guy specifically asks you to be his date it kind of limits you to what you can do because you don't want to come off as disrespectful you don't want to come off as loose so when a guy actually asks you to be his date to a wedding you kind of have to be exclusive not exclusive like a relationship exclusive but you have to kind of respect that guy not to want to talk too much to other guys if you get what i mean so i was like okay a bed at hand is worth ten thousand in the bush abby so they talk talking so i thought so we got to the wedding the groomsmen did all their entrance they got lit they danced all of that stuff the guy was not dancing which is my type you know i don't like a man doing too much some of them are doing leg work i see some of them doing leg like cheeky licky i was like what is this but this man carried himself with so much grace so much class he didn't even this is how he was he just danced i know that kind of thing that was just tripping me i was like yes lord I was like, yes, Lord, is this a sign? Tell me, tell me, Lord, tell me. So after the whole groomsmen thing, this man was coming to the table where Blessing and I was. You know, Blessing's boyfriend was doing his own thing for his girlfriend. This nigga was doing his own thing for me. He was asking me if I've eaten. If you come and meet me, Blessing would do me under the table. She would do this thing. Hey, hey. But like, I was like, what is that? What are you doing? I don't understand. So is this the first time a guy is asking if you have eaten? She was trying to make me feel like, Oh, this guy is into you like that. You understand what I mean? So, of course, he was giving me the attention I needed. Of course, that's what I wanted in the first place. So, we kind of rolled with it. So, um, in between the wedding, I was talking to Blessing. What's up? How far? When are we leaving? Because the plan was to leave Enugu to Oka that night. The plan was that Blessing's boyfriend, Peter, was going to take us to um, Oka. So, when we got to... Excuse me. Blessing was, blessing was like she's going to talk to her boyfriend so that we can start leaving Enugu on time because Enugu road is bad so and i started noticing some hanky panky the guy didn't mm, the guy, i was just like what's going on so i was like talking to blessing at some point i felt like i was bugging her i was like okay since they're going to drive us let's chill so when the wedding was almost over the guy um the guy the john bosco because we're calling john bosco in this video he was telling me that oh do you have to leave today no does your hair talk now don't go now i'm going to miss you you don't even know me too so like not legit 24 hours ago you didn't even know i was going to be here or maybe he knew because it was like blessing already planned it with peter her boyfriend and kind of but it worked out at the time i wasn't mad at it to be honest so <laughs> this guy was trying to make me stay at the wedding but i was like bent on blessing me have to leave and my boyfriend at the time like i said we we're on the rocks but we were still talking to each other do you understand and i didn't want the station whereby he was going to call me and the place would be noisy that would just be like the end of the relationship that would just be at the time every that relationship was so sensitive that anything could just pack up do you understand so i was like bent on leaving in that night so Blessing's boyfriend kind of stepped in and I was like, what's up now, babe? Now, why do you want to go? Talking what jeans. I said I didn't bring enough clothes. That was my excuse. That I didn't bring enough clothes to Enugu. I just bought clothes for one and I don't have clothes to use for to stay all through. They were like, let's go to, um, what's the name of this flavors club? So I've forgotten the name. Let's go to this club, blah, blah, blah. I said I didn't come with that. So the guy was like, let me buy you clothes. I was like, eh? So I'm like, okay now. So me and Blessing we went, we got clothes, we got shoes. That we're going to use to go to the club that's like how we went down but bear in mind that blessings boyfriend was the one that paid for the bill john bosco was nowhere to be found anytime they talk about money or owner you know those kind of guys and funny enough i didn't notice it at the time because i just felt like he was being swagged up or whatever maybe he's kind of guys that don't like talking about money but they make things work behind the scenes this one not make things work behind the scenes so and never make things work at the front of the scene so he was a no-go but we're getting to that. Staying in Enugu, went to the club, you know, we got lit, we had fun. I was a student, so it took us on me. My mom was to have fun and get my mind off my relationship that was already on the rocks. 
so we we got late and we had fun at the club we're not leaving the club and i was saying some they were started doing their nonsense meeting again so i saw i started seeing some movement i don't understand then john bosco El john bosco or that said um will you crash no he, see how he said let me just say exactly what he said will you crash at mines today with one kind of your voice i was like what is this voice for are you trying to What's he about? Are you trying to seduce me? Of course, I can never be seduced. If not that one, just forget about it. If you want to seduce me, the only way you can seduce me is with money. But it's all those stupid Chris Brown voice can never work for me. That's personally for my own. So I said no. Like I said no with the stern face. You know that kind of no that he said that there's no going back. Or more this baby serious. Like that was oh my god. That was the no that I said. Legit no. That was what I told him. So he was like, um, okay. But he didn't act up, which is normal. He didn't have a right to act up in the first place. So, bless his boyfriend. He's always trying to intervene. I liked the guy. I liked the guy. He was a cool guy. But he also respected what I said. No and yes, that kind of thing. Except, so, like, he could change my mind or something like that. So, um, the next day was Sunday, which we were supposed to leave. And you go on Sunday. So, they were like, what's up now? Let's go to Oka together. I was like, the Oka that you people said that there's nothing in Oka. What are we going to Oka for? He now said it's because of me now. That it's because of me, Chica. That, um, ah, you, you have scattered my friend's head, though. You don't bust my friend, Dada. Oh. All those stupid talk. I said, which one bust your friend, Dada? I, I was hyped about it, though. I'm not going to lie. I was hyped about it, but I was like, okay, let's go then. So we got to Oka. I got to my house. You know, I dropped my bag. And we, had, we hung out again that night. I was telling that. I was going to school the next morning. I'm a student, and blessing was kind of acting out with me because I was saying I'm a student. Because in now, I now made her, in her own words, I made her look on serious with her studies. Do you understand that kind of thing? But I'm sorry, that's not my fault. I was a diploma student. I need to get my grades up because if I didn't get my grades up, then I'm not going to get admission into school. So we are not the same girl. Bosco ended up getting my number. I was like, Chica, I really like you. This them tell you how I said it. Chica, I really like you. I want to mess this up. Um, I really like you. I'm into you. Like I can't believe that you have this much weight on me. I left Enugu to Oka. Like Enugu is Canada. I left all the way from Enugu to Oka. Like Enugu is Canada. Not be Enugu at the back of here. Enugu is basically trackable. Okay, I'm lying. I'm, it's not trackable, but you get the point. It's the next state. So why are you saying you left all the way from Enugu? Like Enugu is Europe. Do you understand? So I was like, okay. I like you to at least just to, I liked him actually I wasn't lying but like not liking him to the point of so this guy was putting up a front that he had money he was like when when are you coming around when are you coming to that he's going to Lagos that he'd like to see me in Lagos the upper week that's going to send me money for flight what flight what airline do I want to use and I don't know what he was trying to do at the time I've never I, 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 I've never like traveled with flights before at that time so i don't know i wasn't freaked out about it to be honest because flight is uh -huh, what it could happen that was my mind even if i've never entered flight i wasn't freaked out about it so it was like when do you want to come to lagos i want to fly you down to lagos you know he was trying to portray this life that I was going to leave if i was with him do you understand what i'm saying so he tried to portray and for some reason i was falling for it because i was like Huh. I'm kind of person that I can be impressed, but you will never know that I'm impressed. In my heart, I was impressed with this guy. I was like, yes. Yes, king. That was what I was saying in my mind. But I didn't let him know. He didn't know he was feeling like this guy is too hard not to crack. And that was what I wanted to do. That was the impression I was trying to make. So, uh, <laughs> talking, we started talking very well. This guy was calling me morning, afternoon, and night. But I wasn't really seen after two weeks because my exams were coming up. So clearly, I was never going to be in Lagos for at least two months after we saw each other. So we're going to have to deal with it on phone. This guy was calling me on video call. We we're talking every day. We kind of he was telling me everything that was going on in his life. At least that's what I thought. And I was telling him stuff that were going on in my life, except also leaving out the detail that I had a boyfriend at the time. I noticed that this guy, all the while that we've been talking, he's not actually offered me anything. And one thing about me, I might need money, but I'll never ask you for it. Especially because I feel like you should know as a man, I don't feel like I should be able to, I should tell you, please do this for me. I don't think I've ever, I don't think I can do it. As much as I love money, as much as I love money, eh? I will not put my mouth and ask you for it though. You need to know, if you don't know, there's a problem. If you don't know that I need money, there's a problem. We have there's something wrong with you upstairs. You're not you're not serious. The guy pushed me to the point that I started making hints that I need them money. Something that I never do. You know, he tried to tell me that he tried, to, like I said, he tried to create a picture, but he was not painting it well because okay, now you're not here anymore. 
what's up you've not even said have you just asked me stupid question like have you eaten what is have you eaten what's what's with nigerian men and have you eaten okay if you say no wahala if you say yes problem i said no i've not eaten i said oh get something to eat i was like look at this fool i said this in my mind i'm not telling you <laughs> so I said, look at this fool. He said, oh, go and eat. Yeah, baby, go and eat. I was like, what did they worry this fool? That was what I was going to my mind about. I didn't say that. I was still being a calm girl, being classy, you know. So I kind of continued to make hints. I was like, okay, the other day I was like sounding stressed on the phone. The next day he called me, what's up? And you know the annoying thing. He's always the first person to ask, what's up, baby? And he'll so be like, what's up, baby girl with a mumu voice? What's up, baby girl? Why are you acting like this? Come think of it, the voice is irritating me now, but at the time it wasn't, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. He was like, what's up, baby girl? Why do you sound down? I was like, my departmental dues is up. I don't know, I've been calling my mom, but she's not saying anything about it. He now said, oh. And the fool is always saying, oh. You know, like, oh, God. Man, see, I feel like... I was like, my mom is not picking my call. My mom is not saying anything. What like oh um don't worry she maybe her phone is not going maybe she doesn't have at the time uh -huh. so what are you doing about it this guy just like just say oh uh -huh. uh -huh. you're not doing anything about it you're not helping my life you're not adding anything to you like i was like is this guy dumb do i need to actually spell it out for this guy that i actually need money do you understand i didn't i didn't feel the need to say because i already gave hints and that is something i don't even normally do on a normal day so but i already gave you hints i already showed you the picture he, wa he wanted me to literally paint it i'm sorry i'm not going to do that the other time after this thing happened it, this thing kept repeating itself anything i tell him he'd say oh anything i tell him oh then i started sounding irritated he could tell that i was irritated by this then sometimes he'd be like are you angry i'll be like angry about what and i say okay he'll not say something about there's money i'm expecting then i think he started noticing that i was getting irritated by all these things he was doing he started creating scenarios about him doing business and getting scammed him doing and you know sometimes you don't know if it's true or not so i didn't want to sound insensitive i was always like oh my god are you serious i'm so sorry that this happened to you kind of thing i'll be like i'm so sorry is there anything i can do be like no i just wish you can come down here and i'll be like what have coming down to lagos got to do with your investments going south do you know the funny thing this fool was actually ready to pay for a flight for me to come to lagos fifty thousand or fifty thousand naira for me to come all the way from oka to lagos but he was not willing to give me money for my departmental dues he was not giving willing to give me money for lunch see run for me run away from this kind of man wrong i don't understand like make it make sense you have the money to book a flight for me to come to lagos but you cannot give me how much are you going to give me for lunch pata, pata. 10k or 15k you give me for lunch but you cannot give me 15k but you can pay for 40 000 naira flight for me to come to the to lagos you're mad dear not you job go school so then this thing kept happening and it kept happening and i got i had it up to here i'm sorry i had it up to here because i'm trying to be a gold digger but there's no gold there is no gold this is not what I saw. This is not what I pictured. And this, this guy is always posting on his Insta stories at the time. He will post pictures of Henny. He will post pictures of drinks. Out with these guys. Spending money. But you don't have money. And who am I to... I, I can't... Even if he's spending like that, I couldn't ask him. But you said you don't have money. Do you get my jeans? Because like really, in reality, I don't have the right. And yes, yeah, some people might judge me or try to say, why did you try to collect money from him? Excuse me. I don't have money. So that's why I'm looking for who have money. Is there a problem? Are you going to give me the money? No. So, because I did not have gold, I was looking for gold. And that's hence me being a gold digger. But not gold digger in a bad way. I don't know what you guys think a gold digger is, but for me, a gold digger is not a bad person because, hello? I was going down. I was clearly angry already. Mostly pissed off all the time with this guy. He was always posting on his stories, always doing this stuff. And I said, you know what will happen? If Mohammed does not go to the mountain, the mountain will come to Mohammed. That's what I said to myself. I summoned up courage, something that I've never done in real life. I told this guy, hi, I want to talk to you. Like, okay, what's up, baby? And you know the worst part? It's always so cool to do baby. Like, what is baby? Why are you calling me baby when you're not even chasing me like one? Oh, why are you calling me baby when you're not giving me anything? You're a fool. Don't you have sense? I'm sorry. At the time. He wants to hear your problem, but he's not really offering a solution. He wants to form that he's a listening guy. Okay, what am I going to do with your listening ear now? Of what use is your listening ear to me? Hmm? 
nothing i can't use it for anything i can't use it to buy food in the market so keep it to yourself john bosco and i'm someone courage and i told this guy look i need money for so so and so thing i don't remember what i asked him money for at the time um okay i use my rent you know you know the old rent just you know as they go now i told him look i have a roommate um i have half the money look at how i did it i didn't even just dump my rent on this guy because if i thought even if i say go digger you have to use your sense to be digging don't go don't give me one kind of unnecessary bill big bill so i had to slash the bill into half then slash it again because at the time i didn't have a roommate so i had to slash the roommate then slash my own money i told him okay i already have half of it but i need forty thousand. I mean, i told him i need 50k for the you know money no this guy said i wish you can guess what this fool said this guy is a comp as in eh, me too i'm a fool at least as a gold digger said you're supposed to know whether something has gold in it or not but i think i was scammed i was violated i was i need my time back in fact <sighs> so this guy now said something like just 50k i was like yes just 50k then he said okay uh, he now said oh uh, the same oh uh, that used to annoy me because i don't understand what i i feel like now i think of it i think that guy was trying to piss me off because ha, a guy doesn't really actually say oh uh, like that no guy really does that to be honest let's be honest just a few of them and a few of them is like this guy was just saying oh uh, i just want to oh what's oh uh? Even me and today, I know they talk uh, like that. Do you understand what I mean? So the guy kept doing this thing. Uh, what are we going to do about it? Hello? Hello? What are we going to do about it? We are not going to do anything. You are supposed to do something about it. Because I just told you that I needed money. So this guy was like, oh, the problem is that his money is hanging. That then mentioning all sort of investment that he did. That his money is hanging. He really don't know what to do. But you were legit getting lit the night before. Your Insta story is still there where you were popping Henny and having massive fun. This guy is the kind of guy that if you go out with him, he might friend on you. He might buy you a drink. He might buy you fish. You eat good stuff. But you see that fiscal cash? Don't worry about it. Just forget about it. You will not see it. And these are the men you should run away from. Take it from me. Me. I've been through a lot of shit in this life. Bro, I was pissed. I was pissed as hell. Then they told me about his money hanging. But let's see what will happen before the end of the week. Bear in mind that this thing was happening. I was making this request around Thursday. So the end of the week was basically Saturday. So I was not mad at it. I was like, okay, let's see before Saturday. She sent me something. This guy was not even able to raise half of the money. Now, I don't know what to call this. If I'm supposed to say this guy, he's stingy or he's broke. Because how can you not? If you're not giving me money at this early stage of a relationship, then what are you going to give me money? So I basically ended up digging nothing. I want to tell you guys this, that not all that glitters is gold. If a man actually is waiting for you to ask for stuff before he does it, that's probably a red flag, but what do I know? I'm just saying, from my own experience, it could be different for you, but I'm just saying that if a man like just have to want you to ask for stuff, and when you even ask, did not still give you. You know that kind of that I was hurt by it. I just you know what I told this guy? I sent I typed the message for him. So I did not find thing. You couldn't give me the money. You couldn't get back to me and tell me something like, Oh, I still remember this money, oh, but this is what's happening. He kept saying, Oh baby, how are you doing? Are you home? Have you eaten? Oh, 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 hey, God. I blocked him everywhere. Everywhere. Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook. What else did I have him? No, I didn't have him on Twitter. I blocked him everywhere. Everywhere. Then blessings started asking me. Of course, he sent Peter to ask blessing. That's that I asked him, What's up now? Your boo. I said, Which person boo? Which person boo? Now, meant he's not my boo. I don't want anything to do with that. I don't want anything to do with him. Tell him I have a boyfriend. Tell him I have a boyfriend and we're back together. Then that was how this relationship or oh, quest ended. Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't get fadden from this quest. I say this to say that. If you want to be a gold digger, at least have four sides. 
have brain to know who has money and who doesn't and having money is not the point to be on let's be honest let's be real there's some guys that actually have money but you will not smell that money <laughs> people will just be shouting couple goals but you will not smell that money but there's some guys that don't really have that much but are very generous and you just have to know the difference okay much for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed it as much as you enjoyed the previous one and thank you guys so much for watching please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and of course follow me on all my social media platforms they will be in the description below and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video i love you bye